Once upon a time, in a make-believe land where Scotland and Rome are right next to each other, there lived two friends, Chog Norius, a barbarian, and Pompus Maximus, a Roman. As friends often do, they played together. But somewhere along the line, their playing turned to pranking. <laughs> And their pranking escalated and got out of hand until once good friends became bitter foes. Ah! Darius, you overgrown brute! I'll get you! Ah! Pompous, you pesky little gourd! I'll get you! And so it was that the best friends never spoke again. The kingdoms were divided, and a great feud endured. <laughs> it's time once again to repay our enemies. My son, McLary, is joining us today for yet another attempt to pass his initiation test. Eight times a charm. Uh, ninth. Um, that's what I meant. Ninth time's a charm. Eighth time is practice. Thanks, Dad. I'm really feeling it this time. I've got this really cool new invention McLary. I think... McLary. Yeah, Dad? No inventions. Okay, sure. No inventions. Let's do this! So, so I said, I'm not standing. <laughs> I'm Roman. <laughs> <laughs> we'll chop your locks with clippers and tease them up with moose. We'll never stop our prank until the Romans call us through. <laughs> never! Oh, man! We're barbarians, very barbarians. Practical jokes and best pranksters in the world. Fury of our prank, boys! Give them bad haircuts. <laughs> Bull cut! Beehive! Patchwork! Mullet! Scarlet! Lock of seagulls! Lazy surfer! Not bad! Frosted tips! You monster! Go ahead, son. This one's yours! Give him a bad haircut, and you'll have earned your place among us! Come on, McLarry. You can do this. <laughs> McLarry, what did you do? Sorry, McBob. <laughs> Jog! <laughs> no! I'm sorry, McLarry. <sighs> sorry, Dad. I tripped. It's okay, son. Tenth time's a charm. Barbarians, let's go home! Come on, McLary, let's get back to the village. I failed again, McBob. Maybe you need to practice a little more? It won't help. I'm the worst barbarian ever. Not worse, just different. Exactly. I can't do anything the rest of you guys can do. I just don't fit in. Just because you're different doesn't mean you're any less important. What about all that stuff you make? Your inventions. Those are pretty cool. Well, sure. I love inventing. But I don't think inventions matter much around here. Another victorious raid, Barbarians! Victory! Prepare for the Chog Toss. Ready, Chog! Let's do this! <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were ready. What? Huh? <laughs> oh, counter attack! <laughs> <laughs> Quick, just get to our side. <laughs> he got me. <laughs> Meet me downstream with 
Great styling gel! <laughs> Lucky escape, son of Chog! Worst of the barbarians! <laughs> they cannot cross the gorge. They are too puny! We shall return with an even greater gag! Ha! They've returned! All hail Chog Norius! Greatest of the Barbarians! Did you break them good, Mr. Norius? Aye, that we did, lad. Awesome! Chog Norius, Chog Norius, his exploits ever glorious! Chog Norius, Chog Norius, returns again victorious! Who bests the Romans with his might, whose strike cannot be matched? Victory on this night and claim the biggest land. Oh, oh, oh. Who's the big bad wolf afraid of? Charnorius! Who dreams of clever pranks to try and fools them brilliantly? Who lives we are barbarians for all the world to see? Excuse me. Chief, they pranked us while we were out. How can this happen if they cannot cross the gorge? Airmail. They have employed the silly goose. I can't believe it. We've been goosed. <laughs> to the long haul, we will plot our revenge over juice and macaroni. Macaroni! <laughs> Not you, McLary. You've got homework to do. You need practice. Good lad. Oh, come on, you don't have to sing my theme song every time. Save me some juice. Hey, McAlary, strike out again? Yep. Well, maybe you could hang out with us. Can you read to us from one of those, what do you call them? Books? Yeah, that's it, books. Sorry, kids, I got homework. Oh, please. Come on, McAlary. Oh, okay. The book of Archimedes. He's a really great inventor. He's one of my heroes. Like Chog? I guess so, but different. I'd really love to meet him one day. Here, look at this. It's called a lever. You put something heavy on one end, and you can move it up and down really easy. Uh, why would I want to do that? Well, because it could be really useful. For a prank? Well, no. Oh, here's a good one. What is it? Watch this. What good is that? How do we prank the Romans with it? We don't. It's not for pranking. It's just interesting. I'm thinking of calling it a flying bridge or a Norius cradle. Maybe you could attach giant pies to it and it would swing and slap the Romans right in the face. <laughs> no, it's not for that. They could hit and explode and shave and cream and go everywhere. No, 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 that's not what it's McLary, for. McLary, what do you think you're doing? Chug Norius, Chug Norius. For the love of my kill, stop singing. <laughs> I told you to practice, and you're out here playing with toys! Sorry, Dad, I was just... Spending your time with worthless contraptions when we need your help on the front lines? But, Dad... You're my son, and we have a heritage to uphold! Why do things any differently? What good is this? Can shiny metal best your foe? Can this give an awful haircut? Can... Eh, hey, whatever this is, win the feud with the Romans? No! Only a truly unbeatable prank will win it. That's why we're going after the cheese of Attila. The cheese of Attila? Rumored to be so stinky, so foul. It's wrapped in rotten eggs and lutefisk, just to shield the stench. The cheese of Attila? Filled within Mount Limburger to protect the world from its all-consuming, deep-penetrating odor? This is a private conversation. Would you excuse us, please? <laughs> Once we roll Attila's stinky cheese into Rome, the Romans will have no choice but to bow to our superior pranksmanship. But won't It's that... already decided. Why can't I be more like them? Alone in a village of many Trying my best to fit in 
Barber skills? Well, I haven't got any. The worst barberian. I cannot be like them. I try, but I choke. Impractically lame with a practical joke. I give it my all plus a hundred percent But nobody cares about a boy who invents Alone in a village of many Trying my best to fit in The worst barber bear I blame myself, son. You're not a great barbarian because I haven't pushed you hard enough. I haven't worked you until you were too tired to form new thoughts or properly swallow your food. Uh, to win this feud with the Romans, we'll need you to pass that test. Uh, sure, Dad. You can count on me. Good. Let's do this. <laughs> and use one of your foolish contraptions. It's just that I wasn't... I, it was a miscalculation. Oh, I destroyed it. I can help. I can rebuild it. You've done quite enough already, boy. This is no time for inventions and no place for an inventor. McDustin, grab me some timbers. McLeslie, fetch me some pitch. Okay, Archimedes. Maybe I could be your apprentice. Maybe we could build stuff. He currently resides in Greece. Hmm. Greece. And now it's time for silly... Hold it! And now it's time for silly songs with Scottish Larry. The part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly Scottish song. I can't tell you how proud I am at this moment. I dance on stilts while he knits quilts. Nice quilt! I sing with simulated Scottish Highland hills. Oh, beautiful! He plays his bagpipes. He tags melts. I guess. We feel so smart in our red tartan Scottish kilts. Sing it loud! In our red tartan kilts. We feel so smart in our red tartan Scottish kilts. Technically, you stitch a quilt, but otherwise, lovely. Happy morning to you! I'll have you know that's not in Scotland. I dance on stilts. Excuse me, sir. He stitches quilts. What are you doing with a camera? I sing with simulated Northern Irish lilt. Irish! He plays his whistle. What? Eat salt, it smelts. It's not on the menu. We feel so smart in our green tartan Irish kilts. I got nothing against me, Irish In man. our green tartan kilts. We feel so smart in our green tartan Irish kilts. But this is a sky song. Tip, 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 yeah. Ooh. I dance on stilts. He stitches quilts. What are you doing? I sing with simulated English cockney he plays his trumpet, his trumpet melts. Give me that trumpet. We feel so smart in our St. George's English kilt. Well, you shouldn't let me pass. our St. George's kilt. We feel so smart in our St. George's English kilt. How do you... Ah! Stop it, you! You're ruining my moment! 
kilts. He stitches quilts. American. I sing with ordinary oh, unaccented oh, lilts. He plays his banjo. Eats cheddar oh, melts. I'm breaking We feel so smart in our star spangled striped oh, kilts. Stop playing We rock our star spangled kilts. We feel so smart in our star spangled striped kilts. We feel so smart in our star spangled striped kilts. Songs with Scottish Larry. Tune in next time to hear Larry say... Just get him some scotch tape and butterscotch. He'll be fine. Ah, oh, my bunny lies over the ocean. Well, I can't decide whether I want to be a, a waiter or an actor. I don't know, maybe a doctor. I'm good at a sales. I'm going to be a ninja. Big city, here we go. Let me tell you guys something. It'll take a lot more than just wishful thinking to make it in the big city. We need a break. We gotta look for an opportunity. Look at here, like this. We find ourselves a barbarian, then boom, we're set. Where are we gonna find one of those? Yeah, where are we gonna find a barbarian? Huh? Whoa! Whoa! Oh, look who just fell off the turnip truck. Can I help you fellas with something? <laughs> fellas? <laughs> In all my awesomeness, my Maximus awesomeness, I wish to be entertained by a checker match to the death. <gasps> Which is just a figure of speech, of course. You cannot die playing checkers. <laughs> but the loser will suffer great humiliation. And I love that. Is there anyone even close to being as awesome as me? A barbarian! What? A barbarian? You guys have cash? I suppose I could take a check? A barbarian in my city? <laughs> the turnips kidnapped me. I was headed to Greece to, to meet Archimedes and help in his workshop. I'm an inventor, just like him. An inventor, you say? Then I should welcome you as my honored guest. That's right. You are under arrest. What, sir? I like him, this inventor. What is your name, my new inventor friend? MacLarry. MacLarry Norius. <gasps> Norius? Uh, yes, of course. I'm sorry for the misunderstanding. With all these pranks going around, one can't be too careful. But if you're interested in meeting the great Archimedes... Well, of course, I'd love to. He's I... out of town, but I'll send for him. In the meantime, why don't you have a seat? Oh, okay. Thank you. You are surprisingly nice. I'm cool like that. Remove the turnip! Thank you! Bye -bye. Hey! I know my rights! I didn't just fall off that turnip! This is the pop! Oh, pictures in the dirt! I like this game. Is that a horse? A bad haircut. A good haircut? A pretty sparkly unicorn! What? This is the pop! to the cheese of Attila. It'll be very dangerous. We'll need all the brute strength and courage we can muster. Um, Chief, have you seen McLarry? He's not going with us on this one, McBob. As I was uh, saying. Okay, but I haven't seen him since yesterday. Well, as long as he's not destroying our meeting hall, I'm okay with him having a little me time. Let's just go fetch this cheese. McBob, McJimmy, McTunia, McNezer, McScooter. Everybody ready? Yeah! And Donald, sir. Really? No Mac? Nope. Just Donald. Fine. McBob, you carry the jumbo nose pins in the case of Febreze. Trust me, we're gonna need it. So tell me, are you enjoying Rome so far? Everyone is really nice. Actually, I feel so important here. You and I are exceptional creatures. We deserve popsicle versions of ourselves. Uh, no, wait, that's just me. Say, I, I have a problem that I could use some help with. Something someone awesome like you is uniquely suited for. Oh, okay. What do you need my help with? Well, the thing is, Archie drew these up for me last time I saw him. Lovely plans, but there seems to be a page missing. You want me to build you an Archimedes design? You are an inventor. Invent? Only a truly gifted inventor could pull this off. 
Okay, I'll try. Excellent. And then I can meet Archimedes? Yeah, sure, whatever. You like it? You bet I do. Come, let's go try it out. Uh, let me get my legion. I mean, my friends. Nose pins at the ready, men. Fabrice cover. The cheese of Attila. Cities fall before the power of its stench. There is none ranker! Get a load of that stank! Ugh, that is seriously <laughs> terrible. <laughs> it's, it's the worst thing I've ever smelled! Oh, that's better. Prolonged exposure will drive a man insane. Mad, I tell you! Mad! Chief, are you sure this cheese is safe to take back to the village? I brought a jelly jar. These things are amazing. Seals in the rankness. Ready, everybody? How oh, it just smells like cinnamon died. Well, my friend, let's see what your little machine can do. Wow! That's cool! You could march a whole army across this thing. I wonder what Archimedes would think about this. You know, interesting fact about Archimedes is actually in Rome. Already? That was fast. Hard to leave, really, seeing how he's in prison. What? That's right. When he found out I wanted to use his bridge design for getting across the gorge to majorly prank the barbarians, he refused to build it. So I throw him in the dungeon. Good thing I found another inventor. Oh no. Seize him! What are you doing? Throw him in the cage! You came all this way just to help me prank your own father! Now the joke's on you! Ha <laughs> ha! Ready, men! Cream and the fruit fillings! Left and the ha! <laughs> Let's go! What have I done? Did we order nuts? McClary? Uh, has anyone seen McClary? <laughs> <laughs> McClary! Are you here? <laughs> I can't believe you fell for that. And now for a delicious... <laughs> <laughs> McClary! <laughs> can I'll have snakes? <laughs> Chief! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, McClary isn't back. Uh, I don't know where he is. He's not in his hut working on some project? No. See? He, he's not here. His tools are gone. And his book. Oh, no. What? I think he must have left the village for Greece. Greece? It's so far away. What if he's captured by Romans? The poor boy. He'd be pranked into oblivion. Well, what are we going to do? It's my fault. He's been trying to be a good barbarian. How many times did he take that test again? Uh, nine? <sighs> nine times. I like to throw things and break them in half. I'll shave off your chest hair if it's good for a laugh. Hey. But he likes inventing to build and create. He does it so well and it makes him feel great. What I thought was important and worthy of praise are qualities missing in the son whom I've raised. Maybe I've pushed him a little too hard to 
force him to earn his barbarian card. Maybe I haven't loved him the way that I should, and miss seeing all in him that is good. What I thought was important and worthy of praise are qualities missing in the son whom I've raised. He's different from me. I break, he creates. My boy's different from me. Oh, McLaren! And that's great. That's the way God made him, McBob. And I love him. I have to find McLeary. I have to go after him. But Chief, he's my boy. He needs me. Oh, what about the cheese? The cheese will need to wait. Oh, they got him. Got him, the horse. All this reclining and gently swaying has made me winded. We'll rest here for a minute. Uh, plus, I need to use the little emperor's room. Too bad you can't get out of that cage and warn the barbarians about us. <laughs> uh, excuse me. What is he doing? I think he's making something. What are you doing? Are you making something? Cage reverser. Ooh, cage reverser. How does it work? Hopefully, like this. Hey! Wow, that was great! Sorry, fellas. Gotta go warn my dad you guys are coming. Okay, good luck. Can you believe this? Ah, yes, that was cool! What are you doing? The barbarian made a cage reverser! Oh. Look! Pretty cool, no? Ah! Let's go catch him before he warns the other barbarians! How can we? We're in the cage! Ah! Hey! All right, fine. You go. After him! The prisoner is escaping! McLary! Dad! Thank, Thank goodness, goodness I, I found, found you. you! Huh? Oh, son, I'm so sorry. So what if you're not the world's best prankster? You're my son, and I love you. You do? I do, son. I love you too, Dad. You know what? I think it's great that you like to invent stuff. Really? Really. Get him! Oh, well, uh, about the inventing thing. What did you do? I'll explain as we run for our lives. What is it? Nothing! You guys are gonna love camping! Anybody bring a tent? Hey, Turnip! Can we borrow your turnip wagon? The clutch sticks! Thanks! Oh. Ah. How are you steering this thing? I thought you were steering! I'm teaching myself to drive! Ah. Of Attila! Son, I'm glad you're back. Now just stay here where you'll be safe. Barbarians, ho! Let's do this! Chief, and 
It's delicious! I'll get you for this, Pompous! Let's go! Frank Silk! See? Ah! We can't take much more of this! The calories alone! My diet! I used to be a size six! It's time! Bring me the cheese! Those pins and Febreze at the ready! You wouldn't dare! I'm lactose intolerant! Romans, prepare to smell like milk that has spoiled for a thousand years! Sour cream raisin, quickly! Teeth, look out! Them. Forget about the prank feud. We're all in trouble if we don't get this cheese out of here. Now go! <laughs> Lower the bridge! Huh? Get cranking! We're gonna need a counterweight. Bring me something heavy. I hope you know what you're doing. We brought the heaviest thing we could find! I'm not heavy! I'm your father! Good, but I think we need a little more. What? It's time. Cover me. Be careful, McLarry. I refuse to see it. Thanks to your inventiveness, we're all safe. I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Dad. McLarry! 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 He hey, hey, for his ranking. Your voice is not his thing. But when you need a problem solving, just give him a ring. A barbarian, very barbarian. He's an idea man. Let's get in the ring the Chog, old buddy, I know we've had our differences. Maybe it's time for a fresh start, friend. What's all this silly pranking gotten us anyway? By imperial decree, I declare no more Roman pranks from now on! And I do the same! Barbarians, no more pranking! Let our two kingdoms once again be at peace! Larry, glorious, so glorious! 